recording. Okay. Wait, Everyone, do let's do a sync. Start your videos in hey. five, four, three. Wait. Oh, wait, okay. Ethan's Eva, not ready. I'm not ready. Hurry up, let's go. I'm hurrying. Okay, <laughs> intro, take two. Hey everyone, so today we will be filming a video for you guys. We will be answering, oh my goodness. We will be answering questions asked by you guys. Yes. Yeah? Okay, that's it? Okay, cool. Let's start. Hey everyone, my name is Ethan Yaras. I've been homeschooling since grade 1, 15 years old. Zoo, go wait, ahead. Wait, doorbell. I'm, go I'm gonna get the door. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get the door. I'm gonna get the door. Alright, baby. I'm gonna be editing. Ah, hello, Kuya. Ah, sige, wait lang. Where's <laughs> the? I don't have the bayad. Wow, Zoom making a cameo. I don't know. Wait, so that way I can talk to my phone and just meet myself on Zoom and none of you would hear so the video yeah. itself. Yeah. <laughs> no! It's gonna be so hard for the editor! Simone, you wanna go? Go. Hi guys, I'm Simone and I've been homeschooling since second grade. Hi, I'm Uno. I've been homeschooling since fifth grade or sixth grade, so like five years. Hey, I'm Fianna. I've been homeschooling for four years. Hi, I'm Ayana, and I've been homeschooling since I was grade four. I'm done. I'm done, <laughs> I'm done getting the uh, the kuya. Okay, I'm Zoo. I am. I've been homeschooled since third grade. Mm mm. Should we start? Okay, we're gonna Shall. start. We put up an IG story question -y thingy in Instagram, and some of you guys put questions up there. So the, those are the questions that we're going to be answering today. Instagram yes. and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook, okay. sorry. Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Okay, cool. First question. How did you feel on your first day of homeschooling? I don't remember. I was grade one. Suddenly, it was just there. Okay, Simone. Yeah, I think almost same as Ethan. I was, I think I was seven, really long time ago. But I do think like I didn't really mind homeschooling. I was mainly excited. Yeah. I was nine, I think nine, ten. That was grade four. <laughs> I don't remember much, but I remember feeling excited about it because it's like new, and it's like an adventure. So. I'm pretty sure my first day of homeschooling, I slept the whole day. I I did stuff on the second. Hard working. I don't remember anything, but I remember asking mom, why am I not going to school? <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> My first day of homeschooling, I was in it. I was like doing all the work. The second day I got lazy and I was like, oh, I don't need to do this right now. There's no due dates. Second Come question. On. Fave things about homeschooling personally. My favorite things about homeschooling would be probably the freedom that you have with your time. Like, I can focus on what I want to, like, let's say I would rather focus on music rather than PE, so I can do that. Kind of extracurricular freedom to do what you want. To maximize your skills and learning. Are you raising your head? I remember my favorite part about homeschooling. This was the first thing that I noticed. One day when I woke up, the sun was shining. Because before, when I wake up, there's no sun. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. every day to go to school. Then one day I woke up, Damn. I was like, <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes. So happy. The freedom, yeah, like what Simone said. Yeah, and Ethan. Shout out, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan like Ethan's at. Ethan's at. Ethan's at now. Oh, my turn. Uh, wait, that's a question again. What's your favorite <laughs> homeschooling about question? Friends. Like, Ethan. Yeah. So cool. Oh, Say their names naman din. Oh, uh, also, Uno. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Uno! Happy birthday, Uno! Happy birthday, Uno! Happy birthday, Uno. <laughs> also, Fiona and Simone. You can start and end whenever you want, which is a blessing and a curse. Oh, shoot. Sorry, we have nine minutes left. And also, <laughs> we don't have Zoom Premium. Yeah, and then you could, you could learn whatever you want. Okay, wow. next one. How do you guys stay motivated and productive? We don't. 
I think the main factor with like motivation is really my mom, my parents. Whenever I'm trying to stall and do other stuff that I'm not supposed to do during school hours, she always reminds me, oh, come on, you gotta accomplish this. So you can finish your school year already, you can have a summer break. So that's my main motivation. Studying can get fun. It's actually fun if you actually that is true. Like think about it and stuff. It's really fun. So I don't know, that's how I stay productive. I just tell myself that I like learning and I, I'm going to be doing this for my future. Da -da -da. Yeah. For me, it's like doing the right amount of work in a day. Like not too much, not too little so that you don't get burnt out or you don't get too lazy. So yeah, just like a consistent schedule, I guess. And then that'll keep you motivated. Or at least knowing what you're supposed to do in a day. Well, for me, I put like little prizes at the end of my day. So if I finish like three subjects, I can go do something I want, like listen to music or play something online. So it's the little things that motivate me. What motivates me? My future, you know? Because you need to study hard to get a good future, you know? Like, look at Mark Zuckerberg. He didn't study hard. Look where he is now. You have to study hard to get a good future. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you for your TED Talk. Wait, did Mark Zuckerberg, did, did, didn't he drop out of college? Zuckerberg <laughs> finished college. Ah, oh, he did not graduate college. He See, did. that's what happens when you don't study. He didn't finish his studies. Look where he is now. I'm so confused what you're trying to promote. We're sending the wrong message in our video. <laughs> oh my god, what is he trying to say? Luke, touch your nails, touch your nails to your shoulder. What? Your nails, that's touch it to your, your shoulder. shoulder. That's your elbow, Zoo. Oh, oh, this is my elbow. <laughs> no, make it balik. Make it balik. Come on. Keep it moving. Okay, okay. okay. Motivation. Uh, like Una. You copy that. Little rewards. So if I finish school, I get to play with my friends. Next question. How did High Night start? Good question. Wow. We don't know. <laughs> okay. Next question. What influences the negative stereotypes pushed against the homeschooling stereotypes? It's the media. It's... it's... Yeah, it really is. You know what the actual reason? It's because most homeschools don't have high night. There's been like different people that I've met. Like people that like when I say I'm homeschooled, Oh, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. I want to homeschool. Or the other people that are like, Oh, really? Do you have friends? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're okay. like different people. I've been conventional schooled. No, I've been in conventional school like my whole life. So I had the perspective that homeschoolers were also just like antisocial hermit crabs that don't do much. But it's actually like the complete opposite. Like usually I'm when my friends- I'm antisocial hermit crab. There's a whole spectrum to everything, I guess. Never mind. There's a lot of people in the homeschool community. Like different types of people, just like how there are different types of people at regular school just you just have to meet them and the way you can meet them is through no what is the way we can meet them hi unite <laughs> still talking <laughs> How does homeschooling affect social skills? For me, I guess, I have a social battery and it dies down really quickly. So in homeschooling, I guess that helps because I can be by myself when I want to be by myself. And then I can go to my other homeschooling friends when I am in need of someone. We have a choice. If you want to be isolated, you can be isolated. But if you want to make friends, you have the option of making friends. Because it depends like why people are, home are homeschooling, right? Cause like maybe they started homeschooling because they got bullied or maybe their parents didn't want them to being in conventional school anymore or maybe there was this worldwide pandemic that forced all of them to do it mm, yeah yeah maybe True. Can, can yeah, someone make up a good. question when's the next uh, day start how's your how's your day today <laughs> how do you guys find the weather today do you rinse after you brush your teeth too hot do you so hot. after you use the bidet, the bidet. oh no <laughs> The storage is full. If you need bad love life advice, you can ask me. I'll make it worse. Feel free to ask me. If you need bad advice, I'm here for you.
you know. Do you know how much it costs to homeschool? It depends what your curriculum you're in. Yeah, because like other people homeschool kasi, and they're not enrolled in anything. We're like enrolled in an actual school. Yeah. We're like actually part, like we have certificates that says we're in this grade. Other people kasi, they just do it. Yeah, they're just independent homeschoolers. But then I think mm. combined, all the expenses are cheaper than like a tuition in school. Well, it depends what school, of course. But then the school that I was going to, I won't say the name, but <laughs> the school that I was going to is more expensive than um, homeschooling. Can we pull in Kuya Liam? Can we ask him? Ah, uh, just steal him. Yes, yeah. Kuya Liam. Do you think we can ask him how High Night started? Hey. Is he here? He doesn't want. He, but oh, he, he told oh me how God. it started. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, what? From titas. Okay. What? So, so apparently, though, like the titas, and by titas, I pro- probably means like moms, homeschooling moms, or probably you know, like their kids aren't doing anything. They have no friends. So apparently, yeah, the moms started it. Respect to the titas that wanted their moms to socialize. That's it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe. I don't know. It's up to you. If you want to see us do anything else, put it down below. If you want to see us do dance, put it down below. If you want to name our group, put it down below. If you want to slide into Ethan Yeras DM, his at is Ethan Yeras. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.